In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Henry's law to calculate the solubility of a gas. Henry's law equal is C equals KP. In this equation, C is the molarity of the solution, concentration in units of molarity. K is a constant called Henry's constant, and P is the pressure of the gas in units of atmospheres. In this particular problem, we are being asked to calculate the mass in grams of NF3 that could be dissolved in a certain amount of solution um, if there is a partial pressure of 1.51 atmospheres. And we are being given the value of the constant K. Uh, so this problem is a little bit tricky. There's a few steps involved. We're just gonna kind of do one thing at a time. We have the value of the Henry's constant K. It's this one right here and we have the value of the pressure, P, we can use these two pieces of information to solve for the molarity. It's not what the problem wants us to, to answer, like we're not being asked to calculate molarity, but this is where we have to start. We have to start by calculating molarity. So we'll just do that first, and once we get that done, we'll talk about our next step. C equals KP, K is 7.9 times 10 to the minus four, molarity per atmospheres times the pressure 1.51 atmospheres those atmosphere units cancel and we are left with units of molarity and the units uh, the ants the the molarity is 0 0.001129 molar uh, so what are we going to do now so this like i said this is not what the problem wants us to answer the problem wants us to calculate the mass in grams of NF3. What can we do with this information? Can we convert molarity into mass? Let's, let's just remember that molarity is a type of a conversion factor. Molarity is giving us the relationship between the moles of our solute and a volume of the solution. When our molarity is 0 0.0011929, that means that we have 0 0.0011929 moles in every liter of solution. And for this particular solution, we're talking about moles of NF3. That's our solute. So if we think about molarity like a conversion factor that relates moles to volume, and we have a volume, we could actually use this to get a mass in grams. When we're treating this like a conversion factor problem, we want to start with the information that has been given to us. Like we're done with all of this information, so we're going to ignore all this from here on out. We know that we have uh, 1.050 liters of solution. I've converted that milliliters into liters. And that means that we can multiply that by our molarity to convert into units of moles. 0 0.0011929 moles of NF3 for every liter. And then, let me move this down, um, moles of NF3, not the unit that we really want, but we can do one more conversion factor with moles of NF3 down on the bottom and grams of NF3 up on top. Using the molecular weight of NF3, make sure that when you're calculating the molecular weight, you're gonna get an exact molecular weight. I just rounded it to 71 grams per mole, but Alex doesn't like you to round molecular weight, so make sure you get an accurate one. And this allows us to convert into the unit that we need grams of NF3, 1.05 times 0 0.0011929 times 71 is 0 0.0 to two significant figures, 0 0.089 grams. 